When I was working in the apparel industry, I would spend time in factories and I have seen workers being exposed to toxic chemicals, workers being demeaned, not paid on time. Why do I get to see these conditions and this is invisible to the average consumer? If we depend on those products, those workers should be assured a basic minimum standard of working conditions. The most common way that companies get information about their factories is through a social audit. Workers are being pulled from the production line and interviewed potentially in front of their coworkers or their supervisor. The information is often incomplete or unreliable. The other thing I started to see was workers having cell phones. I started thinking there must be a way that we can use this technology to bridge this gap. Labor Link, hope more to know more. We would like to know more about you and your job. You will now be asked several questions that you can answer with your telephone keypad. Telephone keypad, Dwara. So I am Deepak, I'm the general manager of uh, Mattel Foshan China. We make Fisher Price toys here. We have roughly around 3,000 employees working for us in two shifts. It's roughly around 20,000 square meters of assembly and packout area. We got roughly 70 lines and at this point we are making around 100 different SKUs. Our surveys are short, 12 questions, focused on a single topic. Whether it's health and safety or working hours, it's something that the factory and their buyers are ready to take action on. We're not satisfied to just diagnose problems. We want to drive improvement. Initially, we had customized surveys, but we've kind of found the convergence of what topics people care about. We see a growing realization that if you don't have access to basic health services, you'll be gone from work more, and that affects the bottom line of the factory. There have been so many investments to try to improve working conditions, boost factory productivity, and nobody has given workers a seat at the table or asked for their advice or opinions. Previously, it was not really possible to reach thousands and millions of workers, but with technology, we can do that. I think one of the challenges for Mattel or any consumer product company is learning how to navigate through the various political, economic, cultural, environmental conditions that we find ourselves in that are very different from Mattel, which is based here in the U.S. Aggregating the data with other types of factories helps us to understand what things may or may not be specific to Mattel and the toy industry and what things are just general across the board. One of the biggest benefits is understanding how do we retain those workers, what kind of career goals and aspirations they have. So at the end of the day, they're not only improving their own lives, but hopefully they can impact the lives of their families and ultimately the world. We've actually done side-by-side -side comparisons with audits at one factory in China. 41% of workers in our LaborLink survey reported some type of verbal harassment, and an audit didn't have any findings related to that issue at all. It used to be that companies could get away with a very opaque supply chain, but in this age of transparency, there is really nowhere to hide. If exploitation is happening in your factories, you're responsible for it, whether you knew it or not. And so you need to know.